గుడ్ ఈవినింగ్ మై డియర్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు తెనాలి పాఠశాల యూట్యూబ్ ఛానల్ యాజ్ యూ నో వీ హ్యావ్ స్టార్టెడ్ ఇంపార్టెంట్ క్వశ్చన్స్ ఆన్ చాప్టర్ వైజ్ కెమిస్ట్రీ ఫస్ట్ పియూ ఫర్ మిడ్ టర్మ్ యాజ్ వెల్ యాజ్ అనువల్ ఎగ్జామినేషన్ సిరీస్ సో ఇన్ దాట్ ఆల్రెడీ సమ్ బేసిక్ కాన్సెప్ట్ ఆఫ్ కెమిస్ట్రీ అండ్ periodicity chapters those chapters already i have did the video if you are not seen that the link is given in the description first you go through that then come to this one guys so this is the third chapter that is nothing but structure of atom that we are going to discuss about the very important and fixed 100% guaranteed questions for annual examination as well as midterm exam so with the solution i have did guys see guys let us start then first we'll talk about one mark questions guys name the fundamental particle of an atom that has highest value of e by m what is e by m guys charge to mass ratio already i have studied and you know electron has highest charge to mass ratio value because electronic charge is highest among all then mass is very less of electrons how many radial nodes are present in 4d orbitals so the answer is 1 how you are getting one you see guys what is node first we'll discuss then what is a node node is a atomic node in atomic structure is defined as place in an atom where the probability of finding an electron is zero means uh, it is a place where there is no electron that is called a node right so how to calculate node in an atom there are two nodes one is a radial node other one is a angular nodes then how to calculate sir there is a formula to calculate radial node r is equal to n minus l minus 1 and n you know already n is a yes guys n is a principal quantum number l is a azimuthal quantum number so total number of nodes can be calculated by the formula n minus 1 so how to calculate radial nodes r is equal to n minus l minus 1 n is principal quantum number l is azimuthal quantum number guys so total number of nodes is equal to n minus 1 n is azimuthal uh, principal quantum number don't get confusion guys c for a 4d orbital n is equal to 4 and l is equal to 2 sir how we got the l is equal to 2 that we are discussing in the later examples right so so many questions have taken from the l n and m values there we'll discuss in detail see guys n is equal to 4 because the principal quantum number 4d is there no 4 so n is equal to 4 for d orbital l value is 2 for s orbital l value is 0 0 1 2 s p d f like that you are having so that we are going to discuss in the next examples don't worry as of now you remember for d orbital n value 4 l value 2 therefore r is equal to what is the formula guys r is equal to n minus l minus 1 r is a radial node n value is 4 l value is 2 minus 1 means r value is 1 indicates how many radial nodes are there in 4d orbitals only one if they are asked a different example also you can able to answer now remember the formula radial node r is equal to n minus l minus 1 total nodes is equal to n minus 1 n is principal quantum number l is azimuthal quantum number principal quantum number whatever given in the front top orbital uh, for example if you are given with 4p 4 is the n value and what about l value l value is 0 for s orbital 1 for p orbital 2 for d orbital 3 for f orbital remember guys so easily you can calculate i hope you followed this example therefore 4 orbital has one radial node and two angular nodes write the electronic configuration of copper with atomic number 29 so many times they have asked the question guys in annual examination in different districts these questions are very much important not only for belgium district but also for all the districts in karnataka state right so let us discuss so copper atomic number is 29 so you can take a argon 3d 10 4s1 it is a 3d series guys whatever scandium titanium vanadium chromium manganese iron cobalt copper nickel zinc these all are 3d series guys so always 3d forest comes and whatever the atomic number is there i will give a trick guys see for example copper atomic number is 29 so what you have to do first fill the d orbitals so d9 yes to you got and you know d is completely filled when it got 10 so you just transfer one electron to d so what you are getting 3d 10 4s1 sir why not 3d 9 4s2 because d orbital completely filled highly stable you know already therefore this is the exception guys in coffer 3d 10 4s1 this is the correct answer remember argon 
write the electronic configuration of chromium atomic number is 24 again same it is also 3d 4s only you remember 2 4 is there what do you have to fill then 3d 4 4s 2 but D will get 5 electron because it is half period stability. So what actually you are getting? Argon 3D5 porous 1. This is the correct answer. I hope you are getting how you are getting the answers. Right. State Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. So many times they asked the same question guys. You know it is impossible to determine simultaneously the exact position and momentum of an electron. Correct or not? It is impossible to determine simultaneously the exact position and momentum of an electron. This is the Heisenberg's uncertainty principle. Uh, regarding this in detail we are studying in the 5 mark question. Don't worry. What is an atomic orbital? It is a three-dimensional region around the nucleus where there is a maximum probability of finding the electron. It is a three-dimensional region around the nucleus. So around the nucleus, the three-dimensional area is there. No, in that you are finding the electrons. That area is called atomic orbital. Talking about last one more question. What is the electronic configuration of an atom? What is that electronic configuration you are writing? That is nothing but uh, arrangement of electrons around the nucleus. Electronic configuration is the arrangement of electrons around the nucleus of particular atom or molecule. This is the electronic configuration. So let us start with two more questions guys. What is electromagnetic spectrum? You know, what is electromagnetic spectrum asking? When all the electromagnetic radiations are arranged in order of increasing wavelength, very important. When all the electromagnetic radiations are arranged in order of increasing wavelengths and decreasing frequencies, the complete spectrum is called electromagnetic spectrum. Increasing wavelength or decreasing frequency. You know already wavelength and uh, frequencies are inversely proportional. If it is increasing, the frequency should be decreasing, right? So electromagnetic radiations are the arranged in an order. Radiations are arranged in an order of increasing wavelength or decreasing frequencies. The complete spectrum is called electromagnetic spectrum. State Heisenberg's uncertainty principle give its mathematical expression. I told already it is a uh, impossible to determine both position and momentum simultaneously, right? So that is what uh, Heisenberg's uncertainty principle and it was given by mathematical formula delta x. x means position, p means momentum. Delta x into delta p is greater than or equal to always h by 4 pi. Remember guys, what are core electrons, valence electrons? Write the electronic configuration of chromium. Core electron means inner electrons, valence electron means outer outer cell, outermost cell electrons, that only. See, valence electrons occupy the outermost cell or highest energy level of an atom, while core electrons are occupying the innermost cell or lowest energy levels. Chromium again they are asking 3D5, 4S1, already you know. Give the possible values of L and M for N is equal to 4. So when N is equal to 4 is given to you, you are asked to find out value of L and M. How to solve this type of questions? See guys, L value is, when N is 4, L is always less than 4, remember. Starting from 0, less than 4. If N is 5, starting from 0, less than 5. So N is 4 means L should be less than 4, less than from starting from 0. Then you tell me, 0, 1, 2, 3 because 4 is n value below n value we are getting the l value remember always l always smaller than n so now m value m value always plus or minus l sir what is this see for example l value is up to 3 that means your m value from minus 3 to plus 3 for example l value is 2 your m value is always from minus 2 to plus 2 that is the case following my point so l values are 0 1 2 3 means m value will be minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 followed yes guys so i have given here so values of n if n is 1 L value is 0. If n is 2, I told you, L value is less than 2, means 0 and 1. If n is 3, L values are less than 3, like 0, 1, 2. And I told you, depending upon the L value, you will get M value. So, if L is 0, M is also 0. L is 0, 1. M value should be plus or minus 1. Meaning is, minus 1, 0, plus 1. If L value is highestly 2, then what is the M value you are getting? Minus 2, minus 1, 0, plus 1, plus 2 like that. I hope you got the concept here guys. Yes, remember always L value depends upon N and M value depends upon L. L value depends upon N and M value depends upon L. Always remember. So I have given here very important points here guys. You remember these are going to be uh, used in the 5 mark questions guys. See carefully see very important points. When 
the L value is zero, it is S orbital. That means for S orbital, L value is always zero. For P orbital, L value is one. For F orbital, L value is two. And sorry, sorry, I have written F, F. Sorry for that. So S, P, D, F, you are getting. S, P, D, F. Very sorry, guys. So for S, zero, P, one, D, two, F, three. You remember, S, P, D, F, zero, one, two, three. These are the L values. So those are we are going to discuss in the uh, we are going to talk about the problems on this on the further examples. See guys, talking about fifth one state above principle, and you know in a ground state orbitals are filled in the order of increasing energy. Always ground state orbitals are filled in the order of increasing energy. State Pauli exclusive principle. It is state that no two electrons of the same atom can have all the quantum number same. Never, never. N no two electrons of same atom can have all the quantum number same. Meaning is, so in uh, same atom, two electrons do not have all the quantum numbers with equal num equal values. That is not possible. That is told by Pauli's. Name the orbital when n is equal to three, l is equal to two. I told you this one point, guys. You remember n is three. The princi uh, principal quantum number is 3. That means for front number is 3 only. If L is 2, I told you, remember, L value 0, S orbital. L value 1, P orbital. L value 2, D orbital. So L value is 2 means D orbital. N value is 3 means principal quantum number is 3. What is the answer? 3D. You see here, 3D. N value is 4, L value is 0. If N value is 4, principal quantum number is 4. L value is 0 means, I told you, 0. This chart you remember guys, 0 for S. I have taken here S. Sorry for here also, I have written F, F only. S, P, D, F guys. Name of the orbitals are S, P, D, F. And L values are 0, 1, 2, 3 like that. Following my point. So for example, fourth one we will talk about D. If N is 5, L is 3. Tell me guys. If N is 5, principal quantum number is 5. So 5 we written. L is 3. You see, S value is 0, P value is 1, D value is 2, and F value is 3. So if F value is 3 means it is 5 F guys. Answer is 5 F. I hope you are following guys. It depends upon the this chart only. Simple thing. 0, 1, 2, 3, S, P, D, F. Like that you have to remember. Whatever N values are there, front number you have to write. Over. Write the electronic configuration of chromium, copper, copper plus zinc I have asked. You see guys, for chromium, atomic number is 25. Uh, in all the case, organ is a main point. And 4S, 3D, 4S, 3D, that is fixed. 4S, 3D. That is fixed guys. In chromium, how many electrons are there? Total 25. So 4s1, 3d5. Half field stability of d orbital. In copper 29. So 4s1, 3d10. It is not 13. Remember, it is 4s1, 3d10. For copper plus. So copper atomic number is 29. Plus means one electron loses. Already one electron lost. So we have to take 28. So how we have to write it? 4s0, 3d10. Because you know, one electron is lost means 100% is going to be lost from the S orbital. Because 3d orbitals are completely highly stable. It is impossible to uh, take out the electrons from the d orbital until and unless there is a S orbital is empty. Correct or not guys? Yes. Zinc, atomic number is 30. So 4s2, 3d10. So this is the case guys. I hope you are following guys. This is regarding electronic configuration. Anyone they will ask. Anyone definitely. What is the atomic number of element whose outermost electrons are represented by 3s1, 3p5. 3s1, 3p5. So they are asking atomic number. 3s1 outermost electron means you have to write electronic configuration. 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s1 like that. Count it. 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s1. 2 plus 2 plus 6 plus 1. This is 11. It is sodium guys. Second one see. Last electrons are 3p5. Again go on counting it. 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p5. Above electrons you see 2 plus 2 plus 6 plus 2 plus 5 total 17 it is a chlorine guys I hope you followed the atomic number of atomic mass of atomic number and atomic mass of iron are 26 and 56 respectively atomic number means z value is 26 atomic mass a value is 56 find the number of proton and neutron in its atom a value is given to you, Z value is given to you. Number of proton is equal to number of uh, atomic number is equal to number of proton. So Z value is 26, number of protons also 26. Number of neutrons is equal to atomic mass minus atomic number. Why sir? In atomic mass means what? Number of protons plus neutron. And what is atomic number? 
number of proton. So if you minus the number of proton from the number of proton and neutron, you will get number of neutron. Meaning is number of proton is equal to atomic number. Number of neutron is equal to mass number minus atomic numbers. If you are unable to understand, remember like this. Z is atomic number. A is mass number. So number of proton is equal to Z. And number of neutron is equal to A minus Z. Over. Followed or not? Yes, guys. What are isotopes? Give one example. Isotopes. So atoms with the same atomic number but different mass number. What is different here? Mass numbers are different. Are known as isotopes. Example already you know carbon 12, carbon 13, protium, deuterium, tritium, hydrogen isotopes. So many isotopes. Atomic number is same. See there carbon atomic number is 6. But mass number 12, 13 like that. That means number of neutrons are different guys. Correct or not? Same atomic number but different mass number. Isotopes isobars same mass number but different atomic number see isobars are the atoms with same mass number but different atomic number see the difference isotopes different mass number isobars different atomic number c14 n14 mass number is same but atomic number carbon 6 nitrogen 7 following my point isobars are having same mass number but different atomic number isotopes are having same atomic number but different mass number remember guys with examples what are the observations made by Rutherford in alpha particle experiment it is not a it is alpha sorry guys most of the alpha particle passed through the gold file without any deflection some deflected through small angles and very few alpha particles almost bounce back. These are the two observations made by Rutherford. Explain Rutherford model of an atom. The positive charge and most of the mass of the atom is concentrated in the extremely small region called a nucleus. The nucleus is surrounded by electrons that move around the nucleus with a very high speed in the circular path called orbits. Electrons and the nucleus are held together by electrostatic force of attraction. So these are the four postulates given by Rutherford. Right in it to limitations of Rutherford model of an atom. It is fails to explain the stability of an atom. It fails to explain the electronic structure of an atom. So these are the two failures for Rutherford models. Define wavelength and frequency of electromagnetic radiations. How these two are related with velocity. See guys, wavelength means it is a distance between, see guys, distance between any two successive crust or turfs of the wave denoted by lambda. And frequency is number of waves passing through a point in a unit time. Number of waves passing through a point in a unit time is called frequency denoted by nu. Wavelength and frequency are related by the velocity. Related to the velocity, c is equal to nu lambda. C is equal to nu lambda. This is a very important formula guys. Remember. Nu is frequency. Lambda is wavelength. C is velocity of the light. Explain photoelectric effect. You know. Emission of the light. See guys. Phenomena of emission of electron from the. Phenomena of emission of electron from metal surface. Very important this question also guys. See. Phenomena of emission of electrons from metal surface. Exposed to light energy of suitable frequency. See guys. Phenomena of emission of electron from the metal surface. Exposed to light energy of the suitable frequency. So when the light energy is forward into the surface of the metal. Some of the electrons are ejected from the surface. Some of the electrons are emitted from the surface. That phenomena is called photoelectric effect. When light falls on the surface of the metal, some of the electrons present on the surface of the metal are emitted. This phenomena is called a photoelectric effect. Each metal has minimum energy needed for the electron to be emitted. So that means for particular metal, there is a minimum energy that is required to emit the electron. And this energy, this energy is known as work function, W, H nu. The excess energy in kinetic energy of the emitted electron energy is the kinetic energy of the emitted electron and which is given by h nu is equal to h nu naught plus half m e square. So this is regarding photoelectric effect. What is photoelectric effect? Does the effect support particle nature or wave nature of light? So again same definition. It is a process of emission of electron from the surface of the metal when they are exposed to light of the suitable frequency. It supports the particle nature, not the wave nature. Write Rydberg equation and explain the terms. You know Rydberg equation? Lambda 
वन बै लैमड इज ईक्वल टू आर हेच इंटू वन बै एन वन स्क्वयर प्लस वन बै एन टू स्क्वयर वेरी इंपारटेंट फॉर प्रॉब्लमेटिक पार्ट गाइज रईट बर्ग इक्वेशन रिमेबर गाइज वन बै लैमड इज ईक्वल टू आर हेच इंटू ब्रिकेट वन बै एन वन स्क्वयर प्लस वन बै एन टू स्क्वयर वेर लैमड इज वेव लेंथ आर हेच इज रईट बर्ग कॉन्स्टंट यू सी गाइज एंड एन वन इज अ क्वांटम नंबर ऑफ इनिशियल स्टेट एन टू इज अ क्वांटम नंबर ऑफ फाइनल स्टेट दिस इज अ रिगार्डिंग रईट बर्ग इक्वेशन Mention any two difference between orbit and orbital. This is also very important questions, guys. So many times they have asked this question. See, I have given five differences. If suppose they have asked for five marks, then also you can able to answer. See, orbit and orbital. What is the main difference? It is a circular path around the nucleus, in which electrons revolve. Orbit is a circular path around the nucleus, in which electrons are revolve. But orbital is the region of the space around the nucleus. Where the probability of finding electron is maximum, there electrons are founded. Here electrons are moving. It is a path that is a region. Following the difference, so it is a circular path around the nucleus in the which electrons revolve. That is called orbit. And region of the space around nucleus where the probability of finding electron is maximum. That is called orbital. It represents planar motion of electron. Orbit represents planar motion of electron. Orbital represents 3D motion of electron. Orbit is circular in shape. Orbital is having different shape because you know already. Yes, orbital spherical shape, d orbital, p orbital, dumbbell shape, d orbital, double dumbbell shape, like that. Different shapes are there for orbitals. But orbit always circular. Orbits are non-directional. They cannot explain shape of the molecule. Orbits. Orbitals, except s orbital, have directional character. Hence, they can account for shape of the molecule. The maximum number of electron in an orbit is two n square. The maximum number of electrons in an orbital is always two. Remember, and uh, you can ask sir, sir in p orbital six electrons are there. In p orbital six electrons are there, but in p orbital again sub orbitals are there. No, p x, p y, p z. In sub orbital, how many electrons? Hundred percent two electrons, guys. Remember. So at least two to three differences you remember, guys. Very important question it is. Talking about the question number, next question five mark questions, guys. State Pauli's exclusive principle. First A question. Remember always in chemistry there is no five mark question. Always split it as a three plus two or four plus one. State Pauli's exclusive principle. No two electrons of the same atom can have all the four quantum numbers same. It is not possible. So in the same atom. Two electrons of equal quantum number is not possible. That is what given by Pauli. Using sp denotation, describe the orbitals with the following quantum number. Now already we have discussed about this type of problems. Now tell me, guys, they are asking for orbital. Now tell me, n is one indicates principal quantum number is one. So the value we have to write in in front of orbital is one. If l is zero, I told you the chart. Have you remembered? L is zero. Yes, orbital. L is one. P orbital. I have given that chart. You see, if l is uh, two, d orbital. Sorry, here also s p d up, guys. It is not s p f f. Yes, p d up. Zero, one, two, three. And now tell me, l is zero. Which orbital? Yes, orbital. N is one. Which uh, which principal quantum number? One. So orbital is one. Yes. For second one, four. N is four means four you have to write. L is two means it is not one. L is two means tell me guys it is a d orbital. So one s four d orbital. This is the correct answer guys. You see I have written here one s and four d orbitals. I hope you followed how to write the orbitals if the n and l values are given. This is also very important questions guys. So many times I have asked the same question. Give the postulates of Bohr's theory of atom. This is also very important question, guys. Bohr's theory of atom. They are asking postulates. First one: electron revolve around the nucleus in a definite circular path. Already you know electrons are revolve around the nucleus in a definite circular path. Second one. As long as electron revolve in the particular orbit, it does not emit energy. So until and unless it is go go on revolving the uh, nucleus around in a circular path, it does not emit any energy. Only these orbits are permitted in which angular momentum of electron is an angular multiple of you can say integer multiple of h by two pi. Very important. Angular momentum m e bar is equal to n h divided by two pi. So these are the postulates of Bohr's theory. Write the significance. Ah, this is hundred percent guaranteed question, guys. 
if you see last previous year question papers in all the question paper you will observe this question guys write the significance of all quantum number and many students fails to write the significance of all quantum they can write but they mismatch the significance of quantum numbers so remember guys four quantum numbers are there principal quantum number azimuthal quantum number magnetic quantum number spin quantum number you have to write each quantum number significance if they are asking significance means what they usually do what they usually use to denote that you have to explain don't explain or define the quantum number following my point significance means use you have to write following my point so let us start with the principal quantum number denoted by small m it specify i have written in the bold you see guys it specify the size and energy remember principal quantum number denoted by n it specifies the size and energy of the orbital its value is 1 2 3 integer always integer its value size and energy that is what significance second one azimuthal quantum number denoted by l and it it denotes what it indicates 3d shape of the orbital what azimuthal quantum number indicates 3d three dimensional shape of orbital principal quantum number size and energy azimuthal quantum number shape always remember magnetic quantum number denoted by m it indicates orientation how the orbitals are oriented orientation of atomic orbital in space spin quantum number spin of the nuclei spin of the electron it indicates the spin of the electron and you know its value is always plus half or minus half state pauli's exclusive principle again same no two electrons of the same atom can have all the quantum numbers same this is very important question i have told you several times so many annual examination they asked the same question guys calculate the wave number and wavelength of the first spectral line hydrogen alpha line appearing in the balmer series of hydrogen spectrum now tell me they are asking for wave number and you know rydberg equation using that only we are going to calculate now tell me guys so what is the value of n1 and n2 for balmer series you remember for balmer series n1 is 2 n2 is 3 correct talking about the problem you see guys i have solved here if n1 is 2 n2 is 3 nu bar nu bar means wave number that is equal to reciprocal of wavelength nu bar is equal to 1 by lambda is equal to same formula r into bracket 1 by n1 square minus 1 by n2 square put the values 1 by n1 n1 is 2 2 square minus 1 by n2 means 3 square 1 by 4 minus 1 by 9 lcm is 36 4 nines are 9 4s are if you calculate it 9 minus 4 you will get 5 or order by 36 and r value is 1.697 into 10 power 7 divided by 36 so when you calculate it you will get nu bar is equal to wave number is equal to nu bar is equal to 1.52 into 10 power 6 per meter 1.52 into 10 power 6 per meter this is the correct answer for this question guys very important this is wave number we got but what we want wave number as well as wave length that we will calculate wave length is equal to 1 by wave number you see wavelength is equal to lambda is equal to 1 by wave number 1 by 1.52 10 to the power 6 so when you do it 6.57 10 power minus 7 meter you are getting 657 nanometer also you can write sir why you are written 657 nanometer because 6.52 is there when you take uh, two digits at the right right of the decimal point that becomes 10 power minus 9 meter 10 power minus 9 meter in physics you studied some basic concept also you studied 10 power minus 9 means nanometer guys i hope you followed the problem you practice the problem so many times they asked the same problem guys how many radial nodes are present in 4d orbitals so already we have discussed in the second example only so i have uh, explained a clear detail regarding the radial nodes uh, radial node is equal to r is equal to n minus l minus 1 n value is 4 l value is d orbital s p d l value is 2 so 4 minus 2 minus 1 so you will get 1 guys radial node is 1 already you know how to calculate the formula also i have explained this is a second example we got same example i think so next one for an element with atomic number 24 write its electronic configuration see 24 means you know already chromium it is argon 3d5 4s1 write the value of n and l value for its electron in valence cell now tell me valence cell is 4s they are asking n value directly you can write 4s means 4 is a n value and for s 
What is the L value? Zero. Already you know, no. S, P, D, F, zero, one, two, three. And whatever the front number is written, that is the N value, principal quantum number. So 4S means N is equal to 4. L is equal to zero for 4S. And how many unpaired electrons are present in it? You carefully see guys, 3D pi. All are single occupied. 4S1, single occupied. How many unpaired electrons? 5 plus 1, 6. What will be the wavelength of the ball of mass 0.1 kg moving with velocity 10 meter per second? This is the NCRT problem guys. This is also so many times they have asked. You know already the formula. H by mv we have to apply here. H by mv. H value is known to us. 6.626 in 10 power minus 34 divided by 0 0.1 in 10 is equal to, if you calculate it, 6.6261 in 10 power minus 34 meter and joule is equal to kz meter square per second square. If we can convert into the joule also, they are asking wavelength. This is a wavelength lambda is equal to h by mv. You have to make a formula h by mv. For the values, you will get the answers. I hope you follow this. This is from de Broglie's equation we got. Remember guys. So I hope this video is helpful to you guys. So these are the very important and fixed questions you are going to get in this chapter for midterm exam as well as annual examinations. So stay tuned for next lesson guys. I hope you follow the video. If you are not getting the video, please see once. Definitely you will come to know guys. And in the next, uh, uh, tomorrow morning, I will upload for uh, tomorrow morning or by evening. I will upload uh, organic chemistry first chapter video also and also redox reaction video also. Stay tuned guys. Thanks for watching. Thank you.